Health psychology is a field devoted to understanding psychological influences on how people stay healthy, why they become ill, how people respond when they do get ill. For example, a health psychologist might study why people continue to smoke, even though they know it increases cancer and heart disease, or how health messages on food labels determines food choices. Health psychology also focuses on etiology, the origins and causes of illness, and correlates of health, illness, and dysfunction. Why is the field needed? Let's discuss five main reasons why the field of health psychology is important. Change in illness patterns, expanded health care services, increased acceptance of health psychologists within medical community, demonstrated contributions to health, and methodological contributions. First, changes in illness patterns. Until the 20th century, the major causes of illness, or death, in the U.S. were acute disorders, especially tuberculosis, pneumonia, and other infectious diseases. These are short-term medical illnesses, usually the result of viral or bacterial invasion, and usually amenable to cure. People felt little responsibility for contracting illness because they believed it was impossible to avoid contagious disease. This is known as an external locus of control. Now, chronic illnesses, especially heart disease, cancer, and diabetes, are the main contributors to disability and death. These cannot be cured, only managed. Consider the example of asthma. Health psychologists would be interested in studying how to get people to adhere to their medical regimen so that they are less likely to end up in the emergency room or die. Why have chronic illnesses brought forth the field of health psychology? Chronic illnesses are diseases in which psychological, for example, consider anxiety as trigger for an asthma attack, and social factors, for example, adolescents don't want to appear different and may not carry their medicine, are implicated. Because many people must cope with these diseases over many years, psychological issues arise. For example, health psychology may seek to help ease problems in family functioning. Changing patterns of illness have been charted by the field of epidemiology. Epidemiology is the study of the frequency, distribution, and causes of infectious and non-infectious disease in a population, based on investigation of the physical and social environment. For example, an epidemiologist may ask, why is asthma more prevalent among children in poor urban areas? In the context of epidemiologic statistics, two terms are often mentioned. Mortality, the number of deaths due to particular causes. Morbidity, the number of cases of disease that exist at some given point in time, impacting quality of life. These may be expressed as incidents, the number of new cases, or prevalence, the total number of existing cases. Number two, expanded healthcare services. Healthcare is the largest service industry in the U.S. Note that there are class differences in the provision of healthcare services. Before Obamacare, many Americans had no health insurance. How does this relate to health psychology? Cost containment is a high priority in the healthcare industry and health psychology's emphasis on prevention, for example, modifying risky health behaviors before people are ill, can reduce the money spent. Recall that people are living longer, therefore more people are living with chronic illness. Health psychologists have done research on what makes people satisfied or dissatisfied with their health care. The health care industry employs millions, which has a huge impact. Number three, increased acceptance of health psychologists within the medical community. In the past, health psychologists saw only problem patients who were difficult for medical staff to manage or whose physical complaints were believed to be entirely psychosocial. 
there is now more appreciation for an interdisciplinary approach. Number four, demonstrated contributions to health. We must first answer what it means to be healthy. Definitions of health fall into two categories. Those that portray health as an ideal state, any disease or in injury is a deviation from good health, but if removed, good health can be restored. And those that portray health as a direction on a continuum. In 1946, the United Nations established the World Health Organization, or WHO, and defined health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Some examples of how health psychology has contributed to public health. Behavior change programs. Behavior change programs may contribute to the fact that incidence of some diseases, such as coronary heart disease, has declined. Preparing patients for unpleasant procedures. Preparing patients, both adults and children, to undergo unpleasant medical procedures helps their adjustment to those procedures. Number five, methodological contributions. Although physicians and nurses have some statistical training, they usually do not have enough to conduct research. This results in the importance of health psychologists on a multidisciplinary team.